All right, you guys. So this should be interesting. We're gonna see if I can actually build this thing. I ordered a battery from Amazon and I've got all of the links for this stuff in my link tree in the, everything that I have, uh, well, besides the drill, um, was 55 bucks. So, so the battery is little, so it's nice and light and it's a, um, like a golf cart battery. So it's little, it's less than five pounds. All right. This is an ammo box that I got. So this battery is going to fit in this ammo box. So this goes in here and I'm probably going to have to find a pool noodle or something to go in there. But I ordered this. So this is on, again, Amazon. I've got the links in my link tree on Amazon lists. And so this is the switch. So it's got the power switch. It's got the meter to tell you that what the voltage is. And then on here, it's got the USBs and it lights up. It, I got the one that lights up blue, of course, so that it matches the rudder. And then it's got the cigarette lighter adapter. And so there's three charging ports and then the power. Thank you. And then it came with the wires and such. And with the wires, it came with three sets of these. So I would say if you're gonna do this, get one that I may add a different one in to get because this came with three sets of wires like this where it's got connectors on each side automatically already on there. And then it's got a little fuse deal here to make sure that it doesn't overcharge and then on the other end, it has this, these little, these, you don't use these, but so we're going to cut these off, but just so you know, I'm going to try to find a different one because it came with three, just like this. And we found out because I had the hubs help me and, uh, we found out what really you should be looking at is getting ones that have the connectors like this because this is how it connects through on and the connectors that it comes with are trash if you have an inkling to make this thing you're gonna want to get better connectors because but these little things that they come with they're not great. They, they broke really easy. So what we're going to do is I'm going to take this and we're going to take it apart. And this is going to go on the side of the box. So that way, and this little deal comes off so that you can take them out and you can have your template. Definitely order the ones that you can order the ones that have these connectors that's fine but know that you're now going to have to clip the wires to make these little daisy chains and so this is going to be going to the battery this is going to be going to each one of those little ports and so you're going to make a red one with three this is the one going straight directly to the battery you're going to make a black one with your negative with four. So there's the connector that's going to the main. This is the start, right? This is 
the next, the next, and it's already coming off. This one's already coming off. And then this goes to the battery. So I'll show you here in a second. But so these little deals come out of here. You're going to loosen this little deal here and not drop it. And then this comes out. So now you have your plate. Okay. So now with the plate, I'm going to figure out where on the side of the box. The box is for like seven bucks on Amazon and you could get a metal one and do the same thing in a metal ammo can, but I wouldn't suggest it because obviously being in Arizona, in Southern Arizona, in this heat, you have to keep the battery you have to keep the temperature where it's not getting too hot. And so if you're going to put this in a metal can, it is, you're not going to have the control over the temperature nearly as much as you will with this. Um, but you figure this is, this is easy. This is easy, cheap, seven bucks. And so what you do is you're going to take this. So you're going to put this on here, figure out where you want it. You can have it forward, back. I wouldn't put it down because then the wires are down. So I am going to put it towards the top, but I'm also going to put it towards the front. So that way I have room, just lay it on the box and then mark it out. Okay. So then you've got that. So then to make your holes, you'll use a step bit. So the step bit will make the holes at different diameters and then it has like the measurements on there um, but because I already made the template um, I can just watch we'll see if this works but I can just watch to see how far down it goes I was given the suggestion to make a pilot hole so that way when I'm using the step it it goes down straight all right here goes nothing I'm going to start over here first. And I didn't punch through the back. Okay. I did it. So we've got our holes. Okay. So now we're going to use this. Like butter. Like butter. I wonder, let's see, that does not fit, so I'm going to go some more. So I'll make it a little bigger. Oh look, it fits. It fits. Yay! <laughs> I'm excited that it's actually working and that I haven't screwed it up yet, but it's early. We're like 15 minutes into this. A little so, tabs. look it! <laughs> so your power button has a little light on it too. That's gonna go in first. You have your little meter. That's gonna go in there. But on the picture, it was the USB next. So I'm gonna put the USB here. Okay, so that's got two USBs. Okay, so that's that. Cool. So, talk amongst yourselves while I pick this up. Okay, got it. Okay, now you have these dealies that have to go on the back of each of them that are gonna hold it on. And so I've gotta screw these back on. And we gotta clean the inside out. So, and we start screwing these pieces on. I'm not gonna have a lot of room or visibility in there. I also got this little charger for it so you can charge it back up with this deal and so you can like in the back of the forerunner i have an actual outlet that i can run off the forerunner um, and then it has alligator clips so if i wanted to i could take the battery back out and charge it like this when i go in somewhere or i leave it in there i can still plug it in but Okay, so now you see how that is. If you order one, 
that has these shitty wires, basically. Sorry, shouldn't be cussing. Um, you're now gonna have to make your connection. Okay, no instructions come with this thing. You have to basically go back onto Amazon and take a look at the picture. Cause see how the connections, it's showing like pigtailed to each other. So it did take a little bit longer because these things are crap. So get better connections, regardless of which set the, of wires that you get. Because like I said, this one came with just three sets of wires like this, and then screws to put a, put it in a box or, you know, mount it, whatever. But if you open a container and you see this and that, what the hell are you gonna do with it? If I mean, but what you would do is now looking, you start with, the cigarette lighter one. So the one that's a cigarette lighter, you're gonna plug that in there and then look at the distance to here because it's going to pigtail to right here, right here. So then you just take your wire snippers and you're gonna take your wire snippers and you're gonna cut them right here, leave yourself some extra room and just cut those off. So cut those off so that you have one good set here that you're not even having to worry about, right? And then you use your strippers. <laughs> I'm so immature. Ha! See, I do know how to do it. <laughs> so then you're going to strip your wire on both. And we've now learned that this is 14 gauge wire. Okay, so you have two ends that are stripped like that. And then what you do is you take one of these trash connectors or a better one, preferably better one, and you're going to, and then what you do is, so now I've got the two pieces, the one that's connected, we've got another one that's gonna go to the next thing. We're gonna put them together and then you put one of these little connectors on, clamp it down, and you do that. And so for the, the negative one, you're gonna have a piece that has your good connector. This goes to, so this starts at the cigarette lighter one. This goes to the USB one. This goes to our voltmeter. This goes to our power switch. And then this longer one goes to the battery, okay? So you're gonna have one, two, three, four dual connections. So four of these connectors that have two, well, I lie. You're gonna have three connections that have two. And each end is just gonna have one. Now on this one, because the gold little feet here, are negative. Okay, so the negative, we're going negative here, and I am going to use these, and we're going to hope that the connections that we made are not going to come undone. And this one is a B to C, so I'm going to look at that Amazon schematic because I need to see how it runs again. So this one is a little more, but the wires come already done. They still have those crappy connectors. Then at but. least it also gives you a better diagram of how it connects. Okay, so there's the, I mean, literally, you can find anything on the internet, right? This is probably where it goes wrong. Bad. Okay, so the red one is single, double, double, single, okay? 
start with the good connector and put that on the silver post that's positive. Silver post that's positive. It's positive. Go back to this. And this one has to go, so on the diagram, this one goes into the middle positive one on here. Okay. Now, this one. I'm building a portable power station. Okay. So this one, we used one of those wires that I got, right? And I kept this overcharge fuse so that way I didn't run the risk of overcharging it and it'll pop the fuse in here. And this is the good connection that we're gonna put to the battery. And then this is here. Now, and this will go here on this one. So this one is positive. This one is negative. Okay, here we go, ready? <laughs> it worked. <laughs> All right. You see the lights on? It worked. It worked. It worked. It worked. I'm so <laughs> happy it stayed together. I'm so happy it stayed together. Yes. I did it. I did it. I did it. Now, this is my headlamp. Okay, so I, I'm gonna try to charge my headlamp. Let's see what happens. So this is the USB. And it's charging. I don't know if you can see these lights. Now, but this can go in here. That now we've got it all hooked up. I'm gonna turn it off while I do this. So there's that. But let me show you. So in here, I've got room to put the charger. So here's the charger. I don't, I'm not a huge fan of putting styrofoam in there because you don't want the static electricity because that kind of becomes dangerous when you have static. Um, I am going to put a pool noodle piece right here and a pool noodle piece right here. That way it one holds it, but it also kind of insulates. So everything that I got today, so this, the box, the battery, the charger, and this step bit piece, everything all together was 55 bucks. Like I said, I will say if you are not familiar with all of this, wiring crap I would suggest paying the four dollars extra to get this piece that came with the wires already like pigtailed together it would be worth it I paid 16 for this or I think it was like 17 for this with those wires I would have rather paid the 20 where it came with them piggybacked or pigtailed or whatever you call it um and it would have been easier but this is five pounds and this will charge my phone it will charge a light and it's a seven watt hour battery so it's seven watt hour but because it is lead acid you don't want to take that battery down more than 50 percent because it hurts the battery so you would want to kind of just try to keep an eye on it um boom it's charging so the phone's at 71 percent. it's showing that it's charging and i mean yes you could be walking around with this or whatever but like i said if you wanted to use your portable fan if you want to use your portable fan and have it have energy the whole time you could do that um you could set up lights like the USB powered lights for inside the car and just use this little deal dedicated specifically just for one thing 
and use your portable power station. But I mean, this is like super light. You'd want to use it with items that are 12 volt or under. But this box that we just built, this would be really good for your smaller devices. So like I said, if you got lighting, if, oh, you know what this would be good for? This would be good to run an electric blanket, a um, one that has the car battery, so or the car charger, right? You could plug the electric blanket into this, and this would probably run it all night because it is such a trickle draw on that. Um, if you had it on low, if you had one that has like the high low and you had it on low, this would probably, this would probably go from about, I would say a good five hours. And then you would definitely need to charge it up in the morning. Um, I guess that's it. Thank you guys. Thank you so much for the, so I hope that all of you guys learned something. Cause I learned, I learned that I'm capable. I'm pretty excited. Um, I didn't think that I was going to be able to do this. I figured that the connections would come undone, but look at that. There you go. There is a portable power station, seven watt hour, 12 volt power station. And thank you for having faith in me, even when I don't. I appreciate you. <laughs>